Welcome, this is Barry Jones from The Angel School, and we're here for our monthly angel scope for the sign of Libra for February 2021. So let's, before I begin, I'd just like to welcome um, anyone who's new to my channel uh, and, and new, any recent new subscribers, and just to kind of let you know what's going on um, with the on my channel and some of the things that are coming out. So first of all, um, for the month of February, I am continuing my special offer, angel reading, for my half hour, um, $77 reading. I'm extending it to one full hour. So if you haven't had a chance to have a reading with me yet, um, that's still available. Um, if you've had readings with me before, you it's still available to everyone. So there are no restrictions or limits about um, you know, taking advantage of this offer. So what you would do <clears throat> is go to my web page or website, theangelschool.com slash services page. The link is below uh, the video. And you would just select the normal half hour reading for $77. In 24 hours on the first business day, I will send you a confirmation email um, noting the special offer it will come with instructions, so don't worry about trying to fill out that form on the um, website because I think it's broken. And um, be aware that you'll be submitting like at least three weeks of your availability. Um, one, so that as I'm going through the appointments, I have enough time. Uh, I go through them in the order that I receive them and, and schedule them that way. Um, and it just makes sure that, that we... Generally, you will get, um, I'll be able to give you an appointment. Okay, and on my channel as well, um, I post daily card messages uh, Monday through Friday. And um, I, they're written messages. I do a general reading um, on my channel. And I've also posted in January, the first time, um, 12 month reading for the year 2021. And I feel like there's something I'm forgetting, but I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> so um, just be aware that the links are below um, for my social media uh, platforms where you can find any of these videos or these writings, um, either here on YouTube, my Facebook page below, or Twitter. All right, so let's take a deep breath. And, and let's begin. And just allow everything that's on your mind and your heart to just fall away and really be aware of the divine guidance and divine intelligence that's working with you. And it's really important for you, Libra. This is a, a month. Um, so I feel like that your higher self um, when I see a couple kissing, uh, it can mean different things. It means a connection as a general um, meaning for me. But in this context, I was just feeling as though that you, you're going to really be having a connection with your higher self. And they're wearing graduation caps. So this gives me a sense that this is going to be a month of elevation, of enlightenment, um, that you're going to really be tapping into that higher wisdom. And they, they wrote the word in, intelligence. So you may be looking for guidance or direction, and the divine is there and ready to, you know, offer those solutions to you and those creative ideas. So they really want you um, to make sure you tune in and really listen. Don't ignore your your hunches. Don't ignore those good ideas. They're going to be gems for you in this month. Um, you know, the big thing for everyone is working with Archangel Shamuel, whose name means um, he who sees God. And what he, he works with the heart chakra. And what he wants to help you to do uh, is to, in this month for all of us to open our hearts. So even right now, you can call him in and ask him to light up all the chambers of your heart chakra and to attune it to the frequency of higher love, 
that ninth dimensional frequency of higher love. And ask him right now to um, do this for the highest frequency that is available to you at this time. And that will help you to be open to all the gifts, all the divine guidance and the those genius ideas that you're going to be receiving in this month. And they're showing me um, a mushroom, a little differently shaped, almost sort of like an umbrella. So it gives me a sense that if you're worried about like your finances or something in this regard, that you're going to be protected and, um, and you know, and that it's going to still be flowing for you. So these ideas are connected to that, to helping you um, with fulfilling the needs that you have. Just know that the universe is always operating on that level. It's always attending to you in that way. To whatever your needs are, it's attending to it, not in that human way that we think about, like, oh, I got this, I got a backer. And, you know, that's true, but it's vibrationally, you have to understand that your consciousness is asking for this. It knows how to do this without you. Like, you know, whether you're in this physical body or not, your core essence knows what to ask for. And it does. It's not shy. It's not um, ashamed or it doesn't feel guilty. It is, you know reading the the codes in your energy and it is aligning always uh, and, and keeping that balance there. So it's your job to really stay focused in a positive way so that you're not miscreating by focusing on the thing that you don't want and then having the universe to have to offset that balance, that imbalance, right? So just know this is a very natural process and it's always working. So let's see which particular archangel you will be working with, Libra, for this month. All right. And this is also interesting because we have the lover's card here. And this is the second time we've had this in this month, this Zodiac reading. And also interesting because of the couple that I saw, right? So this really confirms for me that message I was getting about your higher self and that you're going to have this stronger bond, intuitive connection with your I am presence. So in this month for you, Libra, um, not only pay attention to, you know, how you're vibing with others, right? Not only pay attention to how you're vibing with others, but in all the ways that you're vibing with your higher self and the influence of love that this um, orchestrates for you in terms of your outer relationships, whether it's a, a love relationship or someone you're working with or a friend or new support um, and help that comes to you. And it's just nurturing. So give this strong sense of um, nurturing. And also this tells me, you know, too, that you're going to be making some really good choices um, that are just right for you. So trust your choices and the decisions that you're making. All right. Now, I can't remember the word I saw, but let's see what the, this card is. It was, this is the sun card. All right. So uh, it was adrenaline. It says before I was, when I was shuffling earlier, I saw the word adrenaline. So this is, you know, adrenaline is like energy's running high, right? And the sun card is, you know, really about success, you know, hope, happiness, um, you know, and, and bright future. So, but also energy. The sun is our main source of energy. So you're going to be really feeling energetic. So this connection with your higher self is going to really boost your energy, which means everything that you do and it's going to be amplified in this in this month for you. You're going to really feel like um, you're gaining a lot of traction or uh, there's a lot of growth activity as the sun is shining, you know, things are just growing for you. So it may give you this, this, this sort of adrenaline rush, okay? And so you can work with Archangel Raphael, 
who's the angel of archangel of healing and also of travel or transitions and abundance okay so you can work with because he's associated with the planet jupiter and so you can uh, work with archangel raphael to um help you to really tap in to that expansive energy so you know this is going to be a really oppor good opportunity for you to grow to expand the things that you're already working in on especially since you're in the mercury retrograde if there are things that you've already been working on before for the retrograde that you're going to, you know, it's going to be great opportunities for you um, to expand. If there are, if you're starting something during the retrograde, then this is a time to really expand your plans, look beyond, you know, um, you know, sort of just uh, go beyond what, you know, with your ideas and it feels like you're going to have a lot of creativity. So really play with this and work with this in a, um, in your planning, you may not want to launch it if you didn't start it before, but you can definitely like reap the rewards of, you know, the create creative brainstorming and letting your ideas just really flow. Okay, so I send you lots of love, and if you haven't subscribed and you've enjoyed this, please do so and like the channel. As all of this helps um, with the algorithms and everything getting out there. So. Have a beautiful month, uh, and uh, um, Libras, and enjoy this really abundant energy.